Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today, I've got a video that I've wanted to make for quite a long time. So, you may know that one of the DLC for Space Flight Simulator is Redstone Atlas Pack. And in this pack, you can get the Atlas Launch Vehicle, which was used for America's Mercury program to put the first Americans into lower orbit. And also for other missions like satellite and probe launches later on. However, the Atlas included is quite powerful for the game, as the game is scaled down. It's about a twentieth of the size of real life. And Atlas is also scaled down, but it's not really scaled down quite enough to be as weak as it was in real life, which means you can take it far further than lower to orbit. So I've decided, while well, we showcase how far you can go with it, and try and take it to the new captured asteroid. So you can see I'm just doing the I guess trans asteroid injection burn now. Nothing much to say about that. You have to be really precise, its SOI is very small. This is one of the this is the first celestial body we've got in about five years. Came out last month but I couldn't make a video about it because I had exams and I hadn't yet found this workaround that allowed me to record Space Flight Simulator. So you can see we're just continuing to fine tune in that encounter. Nice and close, probably way too close to be honest. Uh, you can see I'm gonna have to turn around here and just burn <laughs> real hard because like we're gonna hit the surface otherwise. Got very scared here. But you can see that since the gravity is so low, the asteroid is really tiny. You can see how big the atlas is compared to it. But another cool thing here is that you can see another one of the new features. We have rocks. We have with these little surface scatters, they vary in size, density, etc. between the planets, and they're really neat. You can edit them, do whatever you like. And you can see we get that achievement, which is another new feature. They've reworked achievements to make them more interesting. You can see we can literally get off the surface of the asteroid just by rotating the vessel. I find that very funny. And then it's just a quick retrograde great burn to return home. Uh, I suppose I can talk about how much I appreciate the Mercury Atlas pack while we wait to deorbit. Personally, I don't think it's worth it. Like, if you have the choice between it and any other pack, don't buy it, to be honest. It's, you're not going to get much use out of the parts. The only thing it's really got going for it is probably, like, what? The red decouplers. Uh, I managed to use the... Well, they're not strakes, are they? The side coverings, yeah. I used those on the Starship replica which I got a lot of views on, so I guess that's good, right? Um, the engines are not leave a lot to be desired because they're supposed to be early rockets. Uh, you can see this very sketchy re-entry we've got going on, just returning to the footage at hand, and I can get away with that because they've buffed the thermal tolerances, so the capsules can resist up to a thousand degrees of... Well, I guess you can call it re-entry plasma, yeah? So, no problem entering. Not sure if a real Mercury could survive that. But, I mean, Space Flight Simulator isn't that realistic. And you can see we have Touched On, and you can see that we've completed Challenges. Those are a big new feature here. So they've given some direction to the game, which is quite nice. Anyway, we've shown how overpowered the default Mercury Atlas is. So what about something more optimized? I've just done some mild blueprint editing to create this launch vehicle here, which I've called the Tortoise. Um, it's basically an atlas, it retains quite a few of the features, like you can see here, we still sort of have the stage and a half system. It's that it's much smaller and it's basically perfectly optimized for doing the atlas's mission. You can see we use those RCS to reorient and I even alleged the stages, even though that's not simulated, so that was pretty neat. Uh, you can see I'm trying to do the final thing that I designed into the system, which is where I've this. The decoupling force on the separator allows you to place the capsule into orbit and deorbit the lower stage of the tortoise. So I'm, although it is kind of finicky as you can see, ah, there we go, got it. So you can see that it gets the exact same payload into orbit. All right, you can see I'm just allowing it to go a few orbits, just proof of concept, right? And then quick retro rockets, much calmer re-entry than last time. Um. I'd like to thank you guys for all your support, especially on that Starship video. Um, got a lot of views on that, so yeah. 
And this is the conclusion of the video. I just wanted to show how much you can do with the Atlas and how little you actually need to achieve orbit in this game. So maybe it gets you guys thinking you can have your own designs. So uh, hope you all enjoyed and please remember to like, subscribe and share. And thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.